It's Wednesday, February 19th. This is vlog number six, I think. I'm not feeling so good at CVS right now getting some Advil. <coughs> I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Alright, just got my Advil. Uh, they told me we're not like allowed to film in the CVS, so if someone from CVS is watching, just close your eyes for that first part. Kobe just tripped over the curb. I kind of want to tell you guys about, I'm, I'm sick right now, my head's really hurting, it's pounding. I tried to do a couple meetings this morning and my head was just hurting really bad. I don't have any water. <coughs> I just want to kind of share with you guys on what you can do when you can't do anything. <laughs> Step number one, eat some food. Get something in that tummy of yours. Rub a dub dub, good in the tub. Let's do this. All right, where's Panera Bread? But we're gonna go get some soup and maybe some mac and cheese at Panera Bread because it's good for my throat. I just took an Advil uh, to kill the pain. It's a painkiller. It's okay because I've got a meeting at 2:30. I've got in a good. I've got to get in a good state of mind for my meeting. I'm gonna be motivational for y'all. For all you people out there that aren't feeling good, stop not feeling good. Okay, cancel. Cancel it all. Just scratch it all. Okay. Okay. I don't even have time for this. I don't even need to navigate. I know where I'm going. I'll make it to Panera Bread. Why do you even have me driving right now? This is not smart. Hell yeah. Dude, what are you doing here? Um, filming one of my videos. <laughs> so, getting some chicken noodle soup. I was going to say soup and bread, something of substance, but something that will soup and bread. If you let me know before 4 o'clock, then I won't head back to the house. It's been a rough day, man. It's been rough just traveling, kind of, I'm not jet lagged, I'm like car lagged. Yeah. And then food poisoning, and then couldn't sleep, and then just dropped my ring. So. But it's okay, I'm getting chicken noodle soup now. But okay, love you guys. Hey guys, this is Cole Binion. He taught me everything I know about photography. It's good to see you, man. <laughs> I'm the guy behind the camera. Oh look, it's the creative director. It's the creative director. Oh, did you know he's the creative director? He's the creative director. That's him. Yep. Okay. I was going to say, just let me know when she finishes the application, as well as I've got a couple other people that I'm going to send your way. All right, just got off the phone with my lender. He's been helping me out with a couple of big deals. Actually, somebody from YouTube found one of my videos that I did on $1.2 million condo, and they reached out to me saying that they were interested. And so he was just giving me a call saying that he's following up with them. He's helping them out. Already sent an application, uh, getting them ready. But even though I'm not really in the office today, still taking phone calls, still working hard, still doing the things that I've got to get done. Step number one, completed. Step number two, rest. Step number two, completed. Step number three, get back to work. This doesn't just apply to real estate. This applies to all areas of life. There's always something that you can do to better yourself. Go out, read a book, watch some YouTube videos, figure out a way that you can develop yourself in the things that you love. For me, when I was getting started in real estate, before I got my licensing, I watched so many YouTube videos. I watched my favorite YouTube creators that were successful in real estate and just tried to learn as much as I could from them. Right now we're heading to an event here at the Cowboys headquarters. It's where one of my offices are at. And Roger Staubach, he is speaking 
about his real estate career, and he is the highest paid NFL player in the world. Now, unfortunately, Kobe can't come in and video this one, but I'll tell you guys about it right after. Uh, I'm 19 years old, getting started in real estate, and I guess this is a question for both Roger and Robert. Um, what would you do, knowing what you know now, differently when you first got started? Yeah, I go back to the big idea. You're young, you're getting started out. Put every waking moment into what you're doing, and then something's gonna pop up, some idea, something, that then you're gonna latch on to and go build a business out of it. Thank you. I, I think, you, you know, you gotta be patient, but there's, uh, there's no traffic jams on the extra mile. And, uh, just just continue to work to get that extra. Be patient, but get that extra, and uh, all of a sudden, you're 19, and before you know it, you'll be 29, you'll be looking back 10 years, and you're 39, and, and uh, so it, it, the, the patience is important to be able to do it right, and mm. not, not to try to do it too fast and do it wrong. you got a lot of fun time. <laughs> Thank you. And one of the biggest pieces of advice he told me was to have patience and to figure out what my big idea is gonna be, what my defining moment will be. And you know, that just sparked a lot of uh, different ideas in my mind of what can I do to be different? What's my big idea gonna be? And I am so excited that I have this YouTube channel and that I'm gonna be able to build this platform and everything else that I've got going on. And we'll figure out what that big idea is. Big idea. All jokes aside, what's my big idea? I've got a lot of ideas. Coming up soon, I'm going to be starting a magazine. That's a big idea that I've got going on. I'm encompassing my real estate, this magazine, YouTube, the marketing I'm doing. And I think that's what my big idea is, is taking advantage of what I've got going on right now. Taking advantage of YouTube, taking advantage of the magazine I'm gonna be starting. Taking advantage of these marketing avenues. And I think that every single one of you have a big idea. And as they were talking about in this speech with uh, Roger Staubach and Ro Robert Shaw, um, they were talking about that big idea of how they became so successful. And we all have that somewhere in here. We all have that big idea of a million dollar or billion dollar business that we could start. And I really do think it comes from figuring out what, what you're passionate about. And when you find what you're passionate about, and you find that thing that when you wake up, you're like, I'm excited to do this. For me, it's meeting people, it's networking, it's selling real estate, it's doing these videos. I have so much joy in meeting new people. What are you passionate about? What is it that when you wake up in the morning, you are so excited to do? What's your big idea? Let's go. Oh wait, this isn't my car. <laughs>